hello everyone in this video let us see how to create our business logic layer again my business logic layer will be a class library so I need to create a class library then I need to add the references of business object layer and data access layer and I need to create business classes for roles like we have created data classes role DB employee DB so in the same way I need to create role BS employee BS so these are my business logic layers I'll be performing my business logics on this in this layer and I'll also add utilities now what is utility in our future lectures we'll understand like if I need some common functionality basically we have used uh, a functionality like sending emails so this code we will put it in utility and we will test our BLL with the same UI so earlier our user interface was interacting with data access layer directly but now our user interface will interact with business logic layer and my business logic layer will in turn interact with data access layer now let us see its implementation I'll select the solution right click on it I'll say add new project again it will be a class library and I'll name it as EIS dot business logic layer now I'm going to remove this class I'll just right click on business object layer I'll say add reference I need to add the references of business object layer and data access layer I'll say ok now I will be adding a class and I'll name it as role BS dot CS now I'll remove this class and I have the class ready with me you need not to see typing me the complete code it is a simple class now you can see that role BS is now interacting with role DB that is data access layer so role DB is present in EIS tab so we are creating the object of data access layer role DB in the constructor like we were creating DB context in data access layer and making the object in the constructor in the same way we are creating the object of data access layer in our business logic layer now role is again the object of business object layer so same methods I have get all get by ID insert delete update so these are the methods that we have and these are calling your data access layer you can see that get all db object now i'll say f12 so it is going to call get all of role db now role db will get the roles from data access layer that is nothing but my eis db context so role bs is ready let me save this in the same way i'm going to add employee bs and I have my employee BS class ready with me simply drag and drop it here I have few extra methods in this again I'm creating the object of employee DB and employees again of your business object layer so I have get all get by ID now insert now you can see that insert is going to return boolean that is whether true or false because before insert I want to perform some kind of validation or you can say business rule validations so I'll pass this object to its valid on insert method so I haven't implemented any validations as of now I'm just returning true so once we come to the point where we need 
business rule validations we will implement it over here so what i'm going to do here i'll check whether it is valid if it is valid i'll insert and then return true else i'll return false so my insert method will return true or false if it returns true that means record got inserted successfully if it returns false means the record insertion failed the same thing applies in your update so again my validation may differ while update so i have separate method is valid on update so again this method is returning true for now If it returns true, that means update is successful. If it returns false, that means update fails. I have another method that is get by email. I'll pass email and it is going to get that object. Recover password by email. Again, the same same thing over here. So as of now, let us remove this. Now let me rebuild this so rebuild succeeded that means my business logic layer is ready now what i want my ui my ui will be interacting with my business logic layer then my business logic layer will interact with data access layer and finally my data access layer will interact with my database and in all these layers i am making use of business object layer so what do i need to do in my ui now i don't want data access layer that means i'm not going to interact with the data access layer I'm going to interact with my business logic layer because that is our architecture. Now in program, I need to create the object of role BS and role BS is present in EIS.bll, not DAL. So I'll remove this. And R dot insert new role. This time I'm going to insert user. Let the role code be you. And I do not need save anymore because save is there in my data access layer. So my business logic layer will in turn call that. Now let me put a breakpoint. Now I will execute this. Now it's F11. So it has jumped to business logic layer you can see that role ps now it is a job of business logic layer to pass the request to data access layer the request has been arrived in data access layer now data access layer is going to work with your db context and get the data now if i look into my database i should find the record user you can see that I have the record user. So that's it. We are ready with our business logic layer. Now, if you want to have a base class for your business logic layer, you can. There is no issue in it because there are many situations where you need some common things across all your classes. Then you can use it in your base class. Say, for example, you might have observed you have errors, list of errors in employees, list of errors you may require in roles as well. Because this list of errors, later on we will see that we are going to populate it with our business roles validation. That means the errors that we get in our business rules. So basically these errors you need to have it in all classes. So you can push it to your base class so you can have a base class if you want in this business logic layer but i'm leaving it as it is so that's it for this video thank you very much